Thank you. They are controversial and they are everywhere. Those giant billboards on the sides of buildings and buses, they're called super graphics. That's right. And tonight, KTLA's Dave Malkoff with a look at what it takes to create the big picture. Hollywood Boulevard, Los Angeles, California. Down here and up there, everyone's trying to sell their show. But just getting those posters up is a show of its own. So this is the large format department. This is the printing floor at Primary Color, 45 miles south of Hollywood. Whether they're scanning an oil painting. So they want this a little greener, they want the car a little brighter. Or printing an ad from Photoshop. These warm tones and image. The goal is simple, <laughs> make it bigger. So here you've got a client sending in the proofs where they actually attach the fabric samples to them. That's the boss man, Dan Hurt. H-I-R-T. Who runs the family business that's constantly cranking out something down there on those 16 foot monster printer. What's the difference between this and the inkjet printer I have at home besides the size, obviously? There's really not much difference. It's just this one has a lot more heads. 16 heads firing four colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, black. Mix them all together and you get a juicy billboard good enough to eat. The ink, however, is dry instantly thanks to a high-intensity UV light. But you cannot smudge it. Wow. So they can fold it up and ship it out right away. Printing anything up to 16 feet is easy. Printing a building size ad is a bit more complicated. And there they're welding the pieces together. They can cut and paste 16 footers together or see what those guys are doing. They are putting together a jigsaw puzzle of stickers that will turn this office building into a shark attack. Look close up. The stickers are filled with tiny holes. So on the outside, we can see that this is a poster here. But if we come around to the inside, and look out the window, even though I'm looking right at the graphic, I don't see anything. Covering a building in graphics has been around for centuries. It's just now we're seeing a printer that can ink any surface. These two machines print on rigid materials. And he means that any material, within the past year or so, they've developed the technology to print directly on glass, taking a centuries-old art form and bringing it into the digital age. It's interesting that, that this is supposed to look like it's printed on a bad printer. Correct. <laughs> rustic retro look selling to the modern short attention spans on Hollywood Boulevard. Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. Imagine if our face is that big and <laughs> weird, right? <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break right here. We'll be right back. Stay tuned for sports. <laughs>